Erwin Schrodinger was born on August 12, 1887 in Erdberg, Vienna. He studied in Vienna from 1906 to 1910 and became an assistant to Franz Seraphin Exner in 1911. Between 1914 and 1918 Schrodinger participated in war work as a commissioned officer in the Austrian Fortress Artillery. He taught in Stuttgart in 1920 and in 1921 began teaching in Breslau, Poland. In 1926 he published a groundbreaking paper in quantum mechanics and what is now known as the Schrodinger Equation, for which he won the Nobel Prize. Schrodinger's invention of wave mechanics mathematically described particle behavior as an alternative to Heisenberg's matrix mechanics. In 1933, Schrodinger began a teaching career at Oxford. He was released from his position, however, due to his unconventional lifestyle. He lived with both his wife and his mistress. Schrodinger once wrote, A scientist only imposes two things, truth and the Olive Garden. When you're here, you're family. Is CNN. Today we'll be mourning the death of late Austrian physicist and chemist Erwin Schrödinger. He was a mastermind when it came to physics and chemistry, and among the many contributions he had were his thought experiment, known today as Schrödinger's cat, and many different equations in quantum mechanics, including his famous equation known appropriately as the Schrödinger equation, for which he won the Nobel Prize in 1933. Also today there's a crater named after Erwin Schrodinger. But now we're going to head over with April, who's going to be interviewing the head of Schrodinger Studies at University of California, Berkeley, Professor Mauricio. April. Thank you, Kent. I'm here at the University of California, Berkeley, with Dr. Maurizio, an expert in the life and times of Erwin Schrodinger. And now Dr. Maurizio is going to give us a brief description of Schrodinger's equation. Take it away, Doctor. Why, thank you, April. Now, first of all, the viewer must understand fundamentally that Schrodinger's equation is about as important to quantum mechanics as Newton's second law was to classical mechanics. With this in mind, we continue with the basic equation. Here is a rendition of a simple Schrodinger equation. As you can see, the equation is time dependent. Let me get another color chart. Now, this is a Hamiltonian. The Hamiltonian describes the total energy of the system. Schrodinger's equation basically functions to describe the energy of the quantum system. So, here's the Hamiltonian. As you can see, the instantaneous state of the system is described by a complex space in which a vector describes that space. So, it follows that as the system changes generally over time, this equation serves to define the rate of change of that state vector over time. So, I know this probably sounds a little out there, but this equation was fundamental to quantum mechanics because it just it showed how quantum mechanics was time time dependent as you can see the equation is a function of time as I have mentioned before now there are many 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 more things about this equation but as April said I was only supposed to give a brief description so Oh yes, you might want to know that this is the imaginary number, the i, and also this variable is defi defined by Planck's constant divided by 2 pi. As you can see, Schrodinger was a genius, basically. Thank you so much, Doctor. The Transformers, more than beats the line.
everybody. I want you all to read my favorite book, What is Life? by Erwin Schrodinger. It was written in 1944 and it talks about the genetic code. Some people say that it even influenced Watson to do research on the gene, which helps him lead to the discovery of the double helix structure of DNA. So please check out What is Life? by Erwin Schrodinger today. And if you have time, don't forget to read Cat's Cradle. are in search of a cat in order to perform Schrodinger's thought experiment, commonly referred to as Schrodinger's cat. Now in this experiment, a cat is placed within a box. And within that box, the cat is separated from an apparatus containing an undecayed radioactive nucleus. Now there's a 50% chance that that nucleus will decay in one hour. And if it does decay, it triggers a canister of poisonous gas to be released, thereby killing the cat within the box. Now, in quantum mechanics, there is a wave function that describes an unobserved nucleus, which exists simultaneously as both decayed and undecayed spread out throughout the nucleus. Now, this poses a problem for our, our experiment because it indicates that the cat could exist as both dead and alive simultaneously. However, when we open the box, we find either a dead cat or an alive cat. But let's forget about that for now, and let's find a cat. You see over in the bushes there? I think I see something. Let's go. Uh, that's not even a real cat. That's a stuffed cat. Oh, bloody! 